Coming out to our next ranking, though, Phil, we're going to rank all the Fallout media. Oh, so boy. any Fallout you've played can be included in this, and the TV show is up for grabs. So okay. I'm going to give you my ranking first, then you give me yours. Now, okay. I have played every Fallout to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. One, two, and Tactics. I never played that other one you were telling me about, the Brotherhood, Brotherhood of Steel. Of Steel so I'm not talking about that one yet. <laughs> but one, two, and Tactics, I played very small, like a couple hours I wasn't that impressed, but I like the quirkiness of it. So my number one is Fallout 3, mostly probably for nostalgic reasons. It was yeah. the first Fallout I played. I love the wasteland, love the world. Two is New Vegas. Um, I get the hype about New Vegas. I think the survival mode is like one of the best things about it personally. Mm-hmm. New Vegas for me, though, here's my thing. I didn't get the hype about it until I played survival because I thought it was very barren and a little boring. Yeah. And when you play survival, everything makes sense. Everything, every little location you go to means sense. But I love the story of New Vegas. I still think New Vegas has the best story. Then I go into my number three, which is Fallout the show. I think the show just, on a story level, it just nails exactly what it is. It l- nails the West Coast aspect of Fallout that I've wanted to see. And I'll tell you right now, I would bet money Fallout 5 is in the West Coast. I think it will be. I don't think it'll be on the East Coast. I think the next actual Fallout game will be on the West Coast. Do you do you have a thought on that before I go on my ranking? No, I, I think that's uh, an agreeable statement because the f- number four took place in Boston. Mm-hmm. So they, I definitely th- see keep themselves. Moving. Yeah, they got to pick something West Coast, especially now with so much exposure to yeah. the NCR. Where, where, what state would you like to see? I don't need to see. I, uh, California would be cool, obviously, but mm-hmm. uh, and we've already gone to Vegas, but yeah. I want to see... What, oh. Do they do Arizona, where we're from? Well, they they did do a little bit of Arizona. They had the Grand Canyon and uh, the New yeah, Vegas yeah. DLC, which, I mean, I think it's cool because seeing like... Well, let me ask you, that: would you want to see something that's not in the United States, like a Mexico? Uh, South America? No, if I if I had to choose one, like if it was out of states, I would yeah. pick somewhere like Eastern Europe. Oh, okay. Do you know there's one vault in Canada? Oh really? Yeah, someone I saw someone post that. I'm like, that'd be interesting to be That'd the, be the vault one. dweller coming out of that one thing. <laughs> See Niagara Falls. Like, what if it's like right next Ooh, to it? That'd be pretty cool, actually. Yeah. yeah so I okay. Like that. To finish my ranking, uh, my number four is Fallout Four. I I really really like Fallout Four. Out of all the Bethesda games, I'd say this is probably the game that plays the best. Yes. Uh, story is a little forgettable. The reason Fallout 4 is a little bit lower for me is I thought the add-ons were kind of boring. Yeah. Um, 3, I still think, has the best ones. I know you think New Vegas has the best add-ons. I actually think that... I think 3 has the most fun add-ons. Okay. Uh, Operation Anchorage, or... Th- yeah. That one's They're amazing. They're, like, unique. Yeah. Uh, Mothership Zeta, all those. Mm-hmm. Um, and then from there... Oh, I forgot about 76. Uh, I would put 76 <laughs> at Fallout uh, at number 5. Fallout, uh, Fallout 2 is at number 6. Number seven would be Fallout 1, and then last place is Fallout Tactics for me. Yeah. Uh, Phil. All righty. So ahead. as far as my experience with Fallout, I played mm-hmm. all of them. Um, I barely got maybe like a few hours in 1 and 2. Yeah, and that's fine. I, even growing up when I was playing 3, I'm like, I need more Fallout. <laughs> so I bought the PS2 Brotherhood of Steel that I saw at GameStop, and I played do that you still for have like... It? Oh, no, I do not. Fuck. I want to play it. I want to play it. Like, it looks awful, but it looks fun. It's terrible. (laughs) But it looks fun. It looks fun. It it was fun for being, like, a middle schooler and just wanting to consume as much media. Um, So my rankings would have to go with number one being New Vegas. I think it has the best story. I like the diversity of like a lot of the gunplay mechanics, yep. having different ammunitions, the Gunrunners DLC, and one of my favorite Fallout characters ever, Joshua Graham, otherwise known Good as character. The, yeah, the Burning Man. I could listen to that guy speak to me all day. I could just, just listen like to this. him. I know, right? Just the way he introduces himself yeah. and like the bibliography, like the talking and all that. It's just it's amazing. He's a great character, very charismatic. I love it. And then number two, I would have to go with Fallout 3. Fuck it's yeah. the it's the one that I just started off with. So mm-hmm. like it just holds the most of my heart. Yeah. I think it has the best DLC, the most unique. Yep. Uh Anchorage, Mothership Zeta, Point Lookout was just oh, super Point cool. Awesome. Very um, under very creepy. Yeah, it is. It's Far Harbor I will give credit to Fallout Four, by the way. Far Harbor was pretty damn good too. Yeah, Far Harbor and I I'm actually playing through Nuka World right now on Fallout oh, okay. Four, which I mean it's pretty cool. It's kind of 
to be honest, but I felt unique. a little disappointed with Nuka yeah, Bola, but that's just me. So number two, definitely be Fallout All right, Three. Number three. Uh, number three, I would have to go with the show. As okay, well. so you're in greens with yeah. me. Okay. Yeah. So like, I think it's the second best in like storytelling. Okay. okay. Seeing a lot of those different perspectives and seeing how these factions actually yeah. handle each other, the NCR Agreed. and the Brotherhood of Steel, which like in New Vegas you never really got to see. Mm -hmm. um, number four. Oh boy. It might be. Oh uh, yeah, it'd be Fallout Four. Okay. Yeah. I can, Were you about to say 76? Yeah, I was about to say 76. You can't say 76. I know. It's okay. I know. There's fans of I 76. Have, I have 1,200 hours in That's 76. That's a fucking joke. <laughs> that, is a, that is a... I looked up my Steam library. I'm like, oh, wow. I, I have so much hours. That is a fucking joke, Phil. But, um, that is a Fallout fucking 4, joke. Fallout 4... Uh, it I, I think it does have like the most fresh gameplay because it's the most recent one. Yeah. Um, it, the way how they handled power armor, though, yeah, I really like. I it. think is the best representation of power armor. And they than, do like, the same thing in the show too. Yeah. Other than like Fallout Two, because like in Fallout Two and One, when you have the power armor, you could like one hand a mini gun and yeah. stuff like that. It shows you how strong it really is. But it's a turn, it's a turn based game, so yeah. it's like you can't really display it too much. Yeah. So okay. Then it would be Fallout 76, very controversial yeah. of the game. Um, I liked the whole community aspect of it. A lot of my time on there was just trading. Well, that's the thing. I actually watched a video because I'm thinking about jumping back on it for a little bit because of the show. And to hear that most of the community has actually gone away from PvP and more towards PvE and working uh -huh. together, that's kind of like unique to see specifically in like a, a franchise, not even a franchise like that, but an online community like that. You don't everything's so toxic nowadays yeah um, it's, so I love it's that. pretty cool even when i hopped on 76 what i do see is like extremely high level players like level 900 mm -hmm. and they'll hang out at the uh the vault door where you start off and they just drop people like basic things like stem packs that's and so stuff. cool and i'm like oh you know that's an interesting thing so i would stick my camp out there too and i would help out all the new See, players and make cool. like You're and that's person. like when you get to make someone's day who's new to the game i think that's cool get them a good start so. yeah exactly okay. there's like only like out of like a hundred people i think i can only count like maybe 10 okay or like 11 that i've like ran across and mm -hmm. like okay you're just an asshole okay but otherwise, it's a pretty cool game. I like that aspect, and the bosses are kind of cool, and limit testing is, like, fun. Yeah. Um, so I would have to probably go with Fallout 2 after. I think chasing after the Gek is pretty unique. And then Fallout 1 is super simple, the water chip. Okay. Um, tactics would probably fall right under and it. And Brotherhood of Steel. And Brotherhood of Steel is right down there. Damn. Look yeah. Look at that. Ranking it in last. So Thank you.